Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. <clears throat> so, I've been receiving texts, I mean I've talked about this, the Hershey job, <clears throat> and then before that I received a text, I've received two now, regarding um, somebody sending me texts for products that are supposed to help out with, um, you know, so there's somebody walking real quick, uh, erectile dysfunction. So, and yes, I've talked about it in the past, I've had issues, um, things are getting better, but, you know, like I said, I, that's just a strange, like, um, <clears throat> my intuition, to, I think I know who it's coming from, um, so, and then yesterday I received a text for an insurance, it was like, uh, it was something like, if you've got a clean record for the past six months or a year, you have, you get like an insurance discount or something like that. It's kind of strange that's all it really was um but i don't even have a vehicle so <clears throat> um i didn't quite didn't quite comprehend why that was sent to me but um and then today i received something for skin cream to help out with wrinkles and it's like yeah i know i've, I've got some wrinkles and there's one that comes down there and stuff um and i'll be honest with you guys i think these are coming from joy i could be totally wrong i could be delusional but that's what my intuition tells me um and to be honest, it does, it, it saddens my heart. Like, every time I've received those, like, I just... Uh, and it's like, <clears throat> it's, this is the collective problem with humanity right now, is we care so much about things like that. We pay so much attention, we pay more attention to things like that than we do to, like, the contents in the person's heart, or what they're going through, or who they are as a human being, or the good things in their life. Like, this is the reason why with criticism, I have an issue with people who are just overly critical and don't know how to uplift or support or speak anything positive or very much, if anything at all, positive into a situation or a conversation. And it's it, a lot of it does stem from people being too focused on, on exactly that, instant gratification, getting what they want, when they want it, and how it makes them feel good in that moment. And I'm not trying to hate on anybody or you know like put anybody down this is just it's the state of the world largely collectively a lot of humanity is at this state to where they just care about what what makes them happy you know they largely don't care about the bigger picture or starving children in africa or the planet that we're continuing to destroy every single day with the way that we live our lives a lot of people don't care about that you know and if they do they choose to do very little if, if anything at all um and some care not to do anything and a lot of people are choosing to actually perpetuate the destruction <clears throat> so it is what it is um but it, it saddens my heart when you know just the time of my life you know and everything i'm working on right now and like you know communicating and working on myself but also being hopeful about a relationship with somebody whom i consider to be a soulmate my soulmate um you know and to have them so fixated on on superficial aspects of life uh and I think I, I think I know why. Um, I do know why. It's because she's been hurt so bad, and I think also she feels she's being forced into. Even though I'm not forcing anything here, is, but I think she feels, on a sense, forced to work with this project in the way that it is. And because of that, she feels like she should have some say over some of the way things are done. And so, I mean, she wants her man or to look a certain way. She wants to get a certain effect out of that whom she spends her time with. And I get it. Um, I mean, I don't think like that, to be honest. It, it, that, that is kind of alien to me. To be, I don't... I'm just different, though. I'm, the more I become myself, the more I realize, like, I'm not... I'm just a little different than what's going on here. And it's that that's part of what I need to embrace in order for me to do what I need to do. And this is why I don't have the same type of bondage issues that a lot of human beings have is because I've always been one who doesn't, who likes to just play, like who just likes to be with the earth, simple stuff. Like I don't want to work these jobs. I don't want to watch these movies. I've seen all the good movies. I've seen them multiple times over and over and over again. None of these shows really do anything for me. I've tried them. They don't do nothing for me. I've seen the ones I've liked over and over and over again. The music, I've heard it all. I continue to listen to it over and over again. I don't really see anything new that I really am into. Like, there's nothing else for me to do but to help humanity live a different way. To show them something else other than what's in front of their face. Because right now, a lot of people are lost. A lot of people are sick. A lot of people don't care about the planet that is our home that we're continuing to kill every single day. As well as ourselves. And animals. And 
There's also an energetic reverberation that is emitted throughout the cosmos and the ethers from the behavior that we do here on Earth. So on multiple levels, we're fucking things up. And a lot of people don't care about it. And that's exactly what the opposition wants. And this is also why I get frustrated when people are like, yeah, we're doing so good, yay. And it's like, no, we're not. Like, I'm not trying to make things worse, but let's be honest. Things are really bad. And we don't have any type of a clear movement to solve these things. Like there is solutions, like there's ideas for solutions, but there's still nothing tangible, realistic being done to implement these things. We're all just talking about it, which is what needs to happen. But I mean, you know, and until we have a, an actual system running, then, you know, we're, we're still just talking. We're still not doing, we're still, you know, things are still being perpetuated in a very negative way, which means that we're still living in hell and we're not perpetuating the kingdom of heaven which until we do i feel like god's going to continue to get and mother nature which is the holy spirit is going to continue to get more and more angry with us and our lack of cooperation with what is good and harmonious for all of life because a lot of the animals i mean they're pissed man we've been fucking up things all over the place all right and we're human beings we're actually supposed to be the ones to help things grow and take care of things and we're doing the exact opposite of what we came here to do so it's like there's a point to where we have to be taught a lesson and it's not going to be a fun lesson it's going to be a very painful lesson we're already going through it, but it's going to get much more painful unless we learn the lesson and stop doing this stupid shit. it's just like me if i were to continue getting fucked up my pain would continue to increase the same scenarios here at the planet if we continue with this infrastructure with this way of living with this all of this it's going the pain is going to increase it's going to continue for us all until you we all have things we can do whatever it is whatever your thing is you got to do what you can do to help out it's different for everybody. I'm doing what I can. So just look at what you have available to you. What are your resources? What are you access to? What skills do you have? What do you have to share? And just share that in a good way. You know, it's really that simple. <clears throat> and the more we all do that, then we connect where we need to connect and we learn we need to learn. Somebody has something they fill in there. Somebody else has something they fill in there. Boom, 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 boom. You know, when there's more than one, in, there's he's in the midst. Like that, this is how stuff gets done. And I just found a book the other day that talks, that goes deep into like the denominations of Christianity. And there's a lot of things I don't even know about involving Christianity and like the supernatural and ways of revelations and revealing things and miracles that I'm learning about. So I'm gonna be sharing that with the world. And there's a lot to look forward to, but at the same time, we gotta get fucking serious with what needs to get done and stop fucking focusing so much attention on superficial shit like this, like just a face. Like if you love somebody, if you care for them, if you dig their energy then that should be enough like if they've got some wrinkles or some shit like that should be petty shit to you like that's that's why it saddens me and it's like that's been the main course of this communication between us has been little things like that and the fact that i have health issues revolving you know certain parts of my body that come from years of damage that i've done to my body that i'm trying my best to recover with and it's not like it happens overnight and then to get that without anything else it's just like it feels shallow so it makes me sad so, anyway, I love you guys. Y'all take care, all right? Bye.